All right, so this video is about the time I got to attend the premiere of Godzilla Final Wars in Hollywood, California. This is going all the way back to that grand year 2004 when, you know, life was a lot different than it was today. So, a young 20-year-old Chris, being obsessed with internet movies as he was and born cinema, took the opportunity to drive out to the Grumman's Chinese Theater. Why? Well, because this movie was being directed by a guy he was currently obsessed with. This fellow right here, Ryui Kitamura. I worship the ground this man walked on at the tender age of 20 because, well, I wanted to make movies like him. He was making stuff that uh, no one else was making at the time, including this absolute gem that remains one of my favorite films today. Oh yeah, look at that. Just come on. That ooze is awesome. Like, get this on a micro budget and it's still the closest thing we get to a Devil May Cry movie. So with no ticket in hand. I just said screw it, and I drove out to Hollywood because it was within spitting distance of my house. So Final Wars was the 50th anniversary movie. This is back in 2004 when Toho barely did anything. Like, we didn't get any of the stuff we got today. At the most, you got G-Fest, and then that was it. And that wasn't even a Toho thing. So I guess they figured for the 50th anniversary and the fact they were retiring Godzilla uh, with this film, they go out with a bang and have a big Hollywood premiere at the Grauman's Chinese Theater. And of course, uh, there was going to be more with that. So along with arranging the premiere, Toho also commissioned this float for the Hollywood Christmas Parade. And if you're asking Hollywood Christmas Parade, yes, it used to be a huge deal. I mean, come on, look at this. This was rivaled only by the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and the New Year's Rose Parade. But it ain't that anymore. It's mostly Eric Estrada coming down in a beat-up Chevy Camaro. But 2004, this was a huge deal. And on top of that, Toho also managed to convince Hollywood to give Godzilla a star on the Walk of Fame. Uh, yeah, it was not the first time a uh, fictional character's gotten a star. But for Godzilla, this was a big achievement. Come on, 50 years in the industry. You know, it's Hollywood adjacent, and he made a lot of money for this place. Now back then, there wasn't uh, all the fancy cameras we had, so what you're going to see is all the pictures I took at the time with my boss's borrowed digital camera. And believe me, we weren't working with a lot. So there's no video, just this. And this is what I was working with right here. Yeah, that. So you're kind of lucky you get what you get. Now there's actual other video out there, but I can't use it for this, vid for this particular video because, well, I don't own it. So anyway, let's commence with the day. So I rolled in early in the morning in my beat up Honda Accord to this site right here. Never thought I'd see the day. Come on, that's the Grommets Chinese Theater, the most famous theater in all of Hollywood and Godzilla having a premiere there, that was a big deal. 20 year old me was losing his mind and to be fair, for the Hollywood, for this Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony, there were a lot of people. Like this was a big damn deal. I was legit surprised by the turnout. I mean, there was at least 2,000 people here for this thing. I mean, the sidewalks were jammed packed. I mean, come on, look at this. A lot of us ditching work that day. I believe this was on a Monday or a Tuesday. I don't recall. Now, if you've never been to a star ceremony, usually, well, at least back in the day, the mayor of Hollywood, Johnny Grant, would uh, oversee it. Now, he's not a real mayor. He's just the unofficial mayor of uh, Hollywood because, well, technically Hollywood is part of city of Los Angeles, not an actual city itself. So he he sauntered out, had all this rigmarole to talk about, talking about Godzilla and, you know, it's years of in being in the film and a lot of fun stuff. Basically the same kind of hogwash you hear from that was written up by any sort of publicist. But nonetheless, he, the man's talking about Godzilla. And at this point, I think the guy's like in his late 70s, early 80s, so... So after a few more minutes of humdrumming, they drag the big man out. And as you can see, that's my vantage point. So Godzilla saunters out, and the cool thing is it's actually the Final Wars outfit, not the regular one. And poses and does all the fun stuff that one does with the Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony. You know, 
it's a it's a PR nightmare. Again, look at the camera in front of me. That's that's what we're all dealing with right there, people. And as is tradition, Johnny gets a few glad handing photos. It's kind of weird seeing an old Hollywood guy taking a couple of pictures with a uh, rubber monster, but that's Hollywood for you. So after Johnny sauntered off stage, none other than the man responsible for producing the Godzilla movies in the past decade at that point, Shogo Toyama came out to say a few nice words about, well, the creature that has made him uh, a lot of good money. You know, it was a nice little uh, send-off to the uh, to the big guy. And here's the problem with trying to remember a 20-year-old story. I don't remember who the hell this guy was. So anyway, everybody got off stage, and the big man himself soaked up all the accolades of his, at that point, arduous, wonderful 50-year career. So after about five minutes, a bunch of photographers taking a bunch of publicity photos, the actual star was revealed. Johnny helped Godzilla pull the uh, ceremonial cover off, and Godzilla's place in Hollywood's Walk of Fame was sealed forever. As you can see by the crowd of heads, uh, I didn't exactly have the greatest vantage point, but eh, I thought it was pretty good for the time. If you look in the background, you can see the casting crew of Final Wars watching on as uh, Godzilla gets his star. So the whole thing wrapped up after that, and Godzilla stood with his plaque, saying that he is now part of Hollywood immortality. And by the way, he got a damn good spot. He's in front of the Dolby Theater, formerly the Kodak Theater. So if you're ever in Hollywood, it's real easy to find because it's pretty much right off Hollywood and Vine. Uh, I've taken a lot of friends there to go check it out. It's something to see if uh, you make your way out, uh, out west. And just hanging out in the back there, there's Kitamura and uh, Toriyama. And of course, oh yeah, the man showed up, Don Fry. At that point, Pride Fighting Championship is huge, and there was a lot of MMA fans there just to see this dude. Then I managed to get a shot of the freshly minted star. Look how nice that is. It ain't so clean today. You know, that's, uh, that's Hollywood for you, though. So with that, it was hangout time because, well, this all wrapped up at about 9.45, and the premiere wasn't until 7.30. And the awesome thing was, I managed to get in. Uh, I met a random G fan, and he felt bad for my plight of not having a ticket, and he gave me an extra one that he had. So, buddy, if you're watching, thank you, man. You made my day. So with that, I met some new friends. We walked around. We saw some celebrities. Ah, like that guy. Oh, I wonder what who he plays in the movie. Hmm... And then here's a bigger deal for me. I got to meet the crazy guy from Versus. Ah, look at me, just a kid. It's a fresh 20-year-old Chris right there. So happy. Now while everyone was parading around, there was this dude in this Mecha Godzilla suit. It was clearly homemade, but it was pretty awesome. And he was uh, pretty much posing with everyone. So I managed to get a few snapshots of the dude, and uh, you know what? It was nice to see a fan out there showing his love for Godzilla. Little did we know, this was a gigantic celebrity in the making because it would be years later when I find out who was underneath that Mechagodzilla outfit. Yes, this man. If you're wondering who the hell it is, that's Dave Filoni, the man who currently runs Star Wars. And he's made a couple of little TV shows, like uh, this one. If you haven't seen that, maybe you saw this? No? Ah, well, at least you've heard of this. Yeah, that dude. That dude is hanging out at the Final Wars premiere in this awesome outfit. So I have inadvertently got to meet Dave Filoni, along with a lot of other Chief fans. So God bless this man and his insane passion for Godzilla. So after killing the day in Little Tokyo, made her way back to the Gramans for the premiere, managed to walk the red carpet, well, uh, we didn't get the fancy celebrity entrance. We got the side entrance for all the, you know, the, the lesser folk, if you will. But we didn't have to stand in this line like a bunch of chumps waiting to, uh, you know, get pictures of anybody walking in. 
So it just gives you an idea of how the whole thing was set up. And now for the actual premiere. What did I think? I loved it. I love this movie. I love Final Wars. I love it so damn much. I, this part where Godzilla and the American Godzilla fought was the one few times that the audience actually erupted. But I love Final Wars so damn much because it's a giant show and Godzilla movie. No one had ever made anything like this at the time. Like, just a non-stop action Godzilla film. And it has my all-time favorite rival, Monster X. When I saw this guy show up, I'm like, he's... Freak, he's a damn Dragon Ball villain come to life. I love watching this movie because this premiere was absolutely amazing. And I it's very rare that I have times like that that I can go back and remember. And of course, Don Fry stole the show. The man got a standing ovation by a, a good chunk of the crowd at the end of the movie. I mean, come on, look at that mustache. That's powerful stuff right there, people. Powerful! So anyway, the film wraps up. Some of us loved it, a few fans pitched, but I had a great time. Snapped a picture of the Godzilla float on display as we walked out. <clears throat> it's damn impressive. Kind of sad that it doesn't exist anymore. This is personally one of my top five favorite days in enjoying anything in this fandom, along with the G-Fest premiere of Cameron 3. As I walked out, I managed to get one last shot of the star, because it just sits there, Showing Godzilla's immortality forever. And that's it. So if you liked what you heard, remember, we do have a podcast. It's the Kaiju Kingdom Podcast. Subscribe. We're on all the streamers. Or you can find us at thekaijukingdompodcast.com. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks.